So we're about to go on this little trip right here. We're gonna meet up with Alan and C8 and uh, checking out the Julia. So this is gonna be sick. Right now I'm filling up my car. We got the uh, E85 going on again. So just getting the getting that filled up. I guess I'm already at like 30 bucks. Dang. Uh, probably just go down to like 35 because you know we're, we're not rich. We just drive cars like we are. But yeah, it should be a fun day. All right, guys, so this is going to be a really nice cruise down to San Antonio area. And look at the lineup here. This looks sick. Well, I mean, more importantly, the C8 is like the star of the show here, let's be honest. But still, we got some cool lineup. And then we got Gabby with us, who is the owner of the Julia, my fiance. And we got Alan over here <laughs> chilling, dude. So we're about to make this journey and uh, we'll see you guys when we get down there. Yeah, so we made it down here basically. Um, traffic was kind of horrible the whole way, like to say the least, man. But damn, dude, these blue cars look good. We got all the carbon on there. Let's check this out, man. The C8. I love that metallic on there. C8R. Yeah, that would have definitely helped with all the content stuff. I love this, man. We're about to go walk these aisles and go check everything else out. Let me zoom in on. <laughs> Overall, great show, but uh, let's get into picking up those wheels and talking about this madness review. Okay, so apparently Discount Tire closes earlier than we thought, so we're just now getting around to looking at it. And that is too sick. Those are sick, dude. You like them? Yeah. We don't need the mask. Okay, we're wearing the mask, but we don't need the mask. Those are so Yeah, sick. that's amazing. That looks... looks like actual Yep, they Same needed these. It really it. needed these. And now we are golden on the wheels. Look at that. I mean, that's actually extremely nice. We still got all this carbon here. They did a really good job of not messing these up. Okay, cool. That's just like a little bit of crease things. Whatever. Yeah, this looks good. We'll be doing more updates with it as we go along. Oh, and look, there's our little delivery car. Put the wheels in. Okay. Thank you, guys. Hey, guys. So this is about 100 miles after um, I just visited Madness Auto Works in... Spicewood, Texas, and they've got a really, really awesome facility down there. Um, they managed to get me in and out and definitely satisfied so far. Um, so I've, I'm basically going to be doing like a kind of a review. Um, just, I mean, the adaptation period uh, has already gone by a little bit on this box. It's basically like a, a piggyback tune. So it intercepts certain data points and um, it's getting, um, I guess, a, additional to what some of the other piggybacks have out there and it uses like the crank sensor, the uh, map sensor, the fuel rail, um, just a couple of those type of things and it's able to do some nice little trickery in its uh, processing unit and it's able to give your car you know some additional boost and it seems to be like right there where like you're gonna be using it most so in the range of like three to four thousand it feels great um, whether I'm in dynamic or in advanced efficiency I'm still able to get you know all the power that I need um, I mean this thing feels like a rocket ship now uh, that's the best way to describe it um, like currently I can throw it in dynamic there and if you want to get a little bit closer to the uh, speedometer here I'll just yeah, give you guys sure. a, give it a, launch. a little bit of it 4,000 I mean that number just gone so it's just way harder of a launch than what it did before. Um, it's almost like, you know, you kind of just lightly press into it and all the traffic disappears away from you. Um, this is also with the install of the uh, go fast bits, um, the diverter valve. So 
that thing is awesome because I installed that by my uh, by myself the other day and without the the power box being installed and uh, I can tell you guys that that made a tremendous difference in the lower RPMs um, you could definitely tell that it was holding boost better um, I mean so far I haven't run into any type of like check engine lights you know CEL type issues um, I do carry around an OBD2 reader just in case um, run into those type of issues but so far no problem I mean here's the second gear pull do you want to Yep. We'll be shifting at 5,000 RPMs. That's wonderful. But yeah, I mean, I, I think that as this goes on a little bit, I mean, maybe within another 50 miles or so, I'll be able to tell if there's any kind of like additional improvement. But for right now, like, if this is the way that it was for the entirety of it, I can say that I'm satisfied, I mean... There it goes, so this is basically nighttime driving with the uh, Madness MBP version 2, and I mean, I've had a blast tonight. I got to do a little 0 to 60 and a little bit of pulls. Um, I gotta say, this car is phenomenal when it comes down to, like, the low-end torque. I mean, 2,000 RPMs or so, and that's all you need to actually really get going. Um, man, still love this interior every time I see it. But basically, I just wanted to give a quick overview, and I, I think I'm pretty happy at the end of the day with, you know, where the MPP gets you. Um, I know that it's not going to be for, like, the highest possible gain, but it's definitely there in the mid to upper range. And I can definitely tell my 0-60 to 60 was better than it was stock. Um, I need to get a draggy so I can get some verified times. Um, I think that'll be the next thing I do. But for right now, I gotta say, it's one enjoyable, you know, device for 600 bucks. I mean, can't really beat it. If you end up going with the flash tune, I think the main concern is, is if you have a warranty, um, they're going to be able to see that on the flash counter. So this way you don't have to deal with that. And you basically you know, get a lot of power on the tap, so. Okay guys, so it's been about a day since I did the uh, Max Power Pro v2 review and i gotta say that thing was really fun i mean i was enjoying it um i mean i've really just had like nothing but good things to say about it um i mean unfortunately i might have had a little bit of hardware issues it's an isolated thing and uh you know that's fine with me and everything but i went ahead and just took this opportunity to you know maybe move on to something a little bit different um been looking into maybe possibly just staying stock for a little bit but you know me i mean chances are i'll end up with like squadra or something else but for right now the car's been really awesome i mean these wheels are man these things are just like drop dead gorgeous from like a any point of view i mean it, it really does make the alpha to have those like ti style wheels and as far as like being replicas they weren't very much heavier than the actual like oem ones um well, the previous OEM ones. I'm sure the 19-inch TI ones are, like, somewhat forged or something, and they're probably a lot better. But still loving the carbon look. I know in the front we're going to be doing a splitter. We're going to be doing uh, the canards, canards, whatever you want to call them. On the inside, we still have the upgraded aluminum paddle shifters um, that I went ahead and did with multi-scan ECU. So I got my cords there and things like that. Um, if I can get my finger out of the way. But basically, um, we've been enjoying this car a lot. Had a little bit of a coolant low, so that's going to be the next concern. I'm um, definitely going to be going to the dealer for that. Not too sure, you know, what the outcome of that's going to be or whatever. Anyways, let's walk on over here to the family. I think Jesse found it working. Gabby. Okay. Have you been enjoying the car lately? Yeah, it's been super awesome. Um, really enjoying the drive of it. 
it's a great car and um I mean, it just makes for a really good practical family vehicle, you know, in general. So that's always nice, especially when you got a little one. So I gotta say the Julia has been good for a lot of different things. But anyways, thanks for joining us. We'll get back and uh, we'll be talking more and more about, you know, what the next step is going to be and all of that. So thank you.